Hey besties, it's Harmony and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see in the title, today's video is going to be something different, a really exciting video. Since school is just around the corner for some of you guys, I decided just to give you some advice on high school or if you're going into high school or just if you're going to be a senior this year. I recently just graduated so I just wanted to give you guys some advice. Let's get into it. The first piece of advice that I would give you guys is trying new things. So like I just said, I recently just graduated in August and I'm going to be a freshman in college, which is so weird. Like, I felt like just yesterday I was a freshman and it was my first day of school and I graduated and now I'm going to college. I'm going to be a freshman. That's so crazy. It's it's so surreal this summer has flown by so fast and i'm nervous but i'm excited the first piece of advice is to try new things like i said when i was a me personally when i was a freshman was a very awkward person things were very different for me from when i was a freshman to when i was a senior when i was a freshman i normally did not talk to people i had like my little group of friends I, I wasn't like outgoing like i was sophomore junior and my senior year of high school so i really didn't try new things i was more of a anti-social type of person i just thought if i tried new things then i thought people would judge me for that and I mostly let people's thoughts get to me and I normally just stay in the background like my freshman year of high school. Like I said, I tried some things. I wasn't as outgoing as some of my other classmates were. But anyways, trying new things, it's not a bad thing. Step out of your comfort zone. If you want to do a club, do it. If you want to make your own club, do it. If you want to be in a play or a musical, do it. Just try something new. Step out of your comfort zone. If you enjoy it, then that's good. If you don't, then just be proud that you did it and you tried something new. My second piece of advice. Tour colleges. Really did not tour that many colleges because I wanted to go out of state, but the one college that I wanted to go to, it was really expensive, so I decided that I was gonna stay and stay instead, which is better for me. I, the, I only taught like three colleges, and I feel like that's not a lot for a senior. If you have the opportunity to tour a college, do it. Even if you aren't a senior, if you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, it's best to do it then than to do it last minute into when you're graduating. Firstly, I would say start your junior because that is when junior, as everyone says, junior is the hardest and that's what you want to decide what you want to go to after you, you graduate from high school and what you want to do with your life. So I would say start your junior, but if you want to do it before then, it's good doing it early. Third advice, learn to balance your social life and your academics at the same time. I know that, that was really hard for me. I mostly let my social life get the best of me and I didn't focus on my academics as much as I was supposed to. It held me back for a, a certain time because in the beginning of my senior year, I was focused on academics, but towards the end of my senior year, I was just like, hey, I'm a senior. I don't have to worry about my grades as much or it's not important now that I'm graduating. I would say don't do that because you're either gonna stress way too much before you graduate and that could affect your mental health, your your college decision into what you want to do so I would say have a good balance between your social life and your academics meeting new people spending time with your friends going to really important high school events try not to slack off as much like once when January hit I got senioritis really normal for people who are seniors it happens all the time. So step number four is take interesting classes. If your school has more electives, take it. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. And if that 
class sounds interesting, then just sign up for it. It's, you can meet new people, it could be good for you, and it could be good for college. Whatever sounds interesting to you, just do it. Don't be afraid. My fifth advice, start college applications early. I did not do this. This is, this is me talking from personal experience. I did not do this. I waited to last minute. But like I said, start early. Start your college essay early. Brainstorm topics, different ideas of what you want to write about. It will prioritize yourself more and you won't have to stress as much if you start it early because you should enjoy your senior year it's because it's your last year. Okay, so my six advice is be yourself and have fun. I'm gonna be realistic about this. When I was a freshman, I was scared to be myself. I thought if I would show my true self, then people wouldn't like me and that I wouldn't have friends. Don't let people affect you or, and for having fun. Do as many things as you want to do. Go to every school event, go to football games, go to prom, go to homecoming. Do everything that you want to do in order to have fun. My senior year, I did a lot of stuff and I enjoyed it really much, but I didn't really go to many football games because I'm not a football person. I w wish I did. But my next advice, attend college nights and college fairs. I have not done this. I haven't gone to a college fair. I wish I did. Okay, my next advice is be organized. Whether you're taking notes or you're taking a test, be organized. Because if you do, then it would be a whole lot easier. You'll be less stressed. I enjoy taking notes. I enjoy using different colors. I love highlighters. I love taking cute notes, especially with different colors. It makes me excited to take notes, even though I was never a really notey person. I mean, when it came to different colors and stuff, then I was, but other than that, I thought it was boring. So if anyone is watching this video, don't be like me. <laughs> be different from me. My next advice is work hard, but don't burn yourself out because mentally that is not good. And you should always put yourself first before anything else. From the beginning of my senior year, I was focused on my academics to the point where I was stressed because I wanted to get A's. I was stressing about college. I was scared if I didn't have all A's or B's or if I didn't have the perfect grades in general, then colleges wouldn't take me. So I'm talking from experience. Don't stress too much and don't burn yourself out with trying to work hard. Next advice, make sure you pick a good senior quote. I'm so sad. For my school's yearbook, we did not have any senior quotes. I was just like, why can't I do that? So yeah, choose a good senior quote. Next advice, participate in your school, in your school spirit during pep rallies. Be excited. Show your school spirit. I didn't really, like I said, I didn't really go to many football games and kind of sad about that because there's different themes and I was just like, I was too lazy to go. But don't be afraid to show your school spirit. If you have to scream, scream. Just, just do it. Who cares what people think? Just do it. That's all I gotta say. Just go all out. Don't be whack. Next advice. Be a good example for the underclassmen. And I mean this in a good way. Seniors. I get it. I understand. Underclassmen can be annoying sometimes. But you were once them and I was once them. And looking back at them when I was a senior, looking back at the little kids, 7th and 8th graders, I just thought, I was once them. So, seniors, be a good example for the underclassmen. At the end of the day, you gotta be a good example for the underclassmen because they really do look up to you. Being a senior was really important to me because I wanted the underclassmen to look up to me or just to look up to my whole class. Make sure you're being kind to them even though they are annoying. Don't be mean to them. That's just not nice and just don't be mean. <laughs> Next advice, don't let senioritis get to you. Senior artist started with me in January. I was just like, what's the point? Why can't graduation come any earlier? I want to get out of here. So don't let senior artists get to you. 
Your time will come. Don't rush it. Enjoy your senior year. It's your last. Next advice, make many memories and cherish them. Like I said, your senior year is your last year of high school. It's the most important year. Yes, you had good memories your freshman, sophomore, and junior year, but make as many memories of your senior year as possible. It is your last. It is your last ride until you're out. And the last advice that I have to give you for your rising seniors is be proud that you made it to your senior year. I cannot explain enough that once my first day of senior year came, I was so proud of myself. I was like, I made it to my senior year. I can't believe it. I am a senior. <laughs> I was I was one of I was one of those people. So be proud that you made it to your senior year. Who cares what people think? Be proud of you. Be proud that you made it to your senior year. To my rising seniors, be sure to celebrate yourself. Be sure to make memories. Be sure to hang out with your friends. Have that school spirit. Be involved with your school. Try new things. Just, just do it. Okay, so that concludes my advice to rising seniors to any underclassmen. But I hope you guys got some really good advice. This was really fun to make. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hoped it gave you some insight and helped you with high school and your senior year. I'm gonna stop talking now. But anyways, I love you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.